Hello, welcome to this DCS general tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to set and save custom loadouts that will show up in your in-game loadout drop-down menu uh, in order to have them for future use. To begin, we'll go to the main menu, the mission editor button. You'll click create new mission. Doesn't matter what you have here. Um, if you want to make sure everything's available for every single country you can ever possibly play on, you can just throw them all over to the side. I'm just going to leave it default for now. Hit OK. We can throw the aircraft wherever we feel like. For organization and future editing, I recommend just going to an airfield and then placing them down. On the left hand side, we will see a bunch of buttons. The two that you're going to be worried about are the helicopter and the airplane buttons, each one pertaining to what you wish to make the loadout for. So I'll use the airplane button. It says add or modify airplane group. I will select the airplane I wish to make the loadout for. In this example, I'll use the F-18. Make sure the skill is set to client. And then click anywhere, and we now have the aircraft. If you accidentally unselect the aircraft by right-clicking, you can just click it, and the menu will pop back up. Once we have the aircraft we wish to make the loadouts for selected, we will click the payload button here. And this window will look fairly familiar to you based on your rearm refueling window. To make your custom loadout, we will click the new button in the bottom left. Enter a name for your custom loadout. In game, it is sorted alphabetically and numerically. So numbers will appear on top of letters and it will go one, two, three, four, and so on, and A, B, C, D, and so on. So I'll type in, for example, zero, one custom, and we will see our new loadout uh, name appear down here and it is selected because it is a lighter shade of blue. We'll make sure it is selected and then we can edit the pylons the same way we would in our rearm refueling window and put whatever we like on here. If I wanted to add more than one custom loadouts, I would just click new again, type in a name and add on whatever I felt like. From here to close this menu, under airplane group is a small x, not in the upper right, that will close out your mission editor, but the one under airplane group. And I can either save this or add any number of aircraft and any number of loadouts. So for the example, I'll add an A-10, make sure it is client click go to payload new example and then edit the loadout appropriately From here, once again, the X in the upper right. And now I can save the mission. So file, save as, and on the upper left here, you'll see my missions. And then I recommend naming it loadouts. Loadouts.miz under your my missions and okay. Now we can click the X in the upper right and get into game and I'll show you that we now have our custom loadout saved. Load it into the training server. Let's pick one of our F-18s. Open the rearm refuel window. And now we can see the custom loadouts that we had made. Show you the same for the A-10. Rearm refuel window. 
And now we have the custom loadout we made there. Very useful um, when you get more experienced. I don't recommend doing this as you're learning because being able to navigate these menus to choose what you need for the task at hand is very important. And you might end up accidentally going up with something you don't intend to or without something that you do want um, if you're just using pre-made loadouts. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.